Some of us have hobbies, others obsessions, others yet callings. Some have only been doing this thing for a couple of years and some for a lifetime. I got to thinking about this on my recent road trip back to St. Louis from the Lake Superior Performance Rally up in the Upper Peninsula of Michigan. I do some of my best thinking while driving cross country. I can remember the exact moment that changed the course of my life. I was driving to get groceries one Sunday morning in Terre Haute, Indiana. It's where I was a grad student at Indiana State University, that other state university in Indiana. And I noticed a gaggle of little foreign cars in a parking lot off of a chain store. Curiosity got the better of me and I turned in trying to figure out what was going on. A jovial gentleman in about the only American car there, it was a Corvair, spotted me in my inquisitive demeanor and explained, well, this was a rally. What the hell's a rally? That moment, that innocent connection, that event coupled with my curiosity changed my life. Never got the groceries, jumped in his highly modified Fitch Sprint Corvair, figured out the rules of the game, and lo and behold, we won the event. Not understood at the time, but that determined much of the rest of my life to this point, and that was way back in 1969. A moment in time, an instant where you were headed this way, and since then you were headed a different way. Perhaps that's why they're called defining moments. Since then, I have participated in every known format of auto rallying. There are gimmick rallies where you mostly answer questions along the route on a Sunday afternoon, like my first one. There are time, speed, distance rallies where you use all three of those, time, speed, and distance, to stay perfectly on time all the time while traversing a prescribed route. There was a decade or so I competed in great race style rallies where you have no odometer and have to stay on time all the time using dead reckoning. And those were all in antique cars and lasted two weeks coast to coast. Then there are performance rallies, where the fastest car from one end of a usually dirt or gravel road to the other wins. These have dominated the last 20 years of my rally career. As a driver, co-driver, organizer, official, I've been completely immersed. Suffice it to say, rallying of all kinds has been an obsession with me for over 50 years. And it all started with that sunny Sunday afternoon in Terre Haute. Now, I know people who have had the same kind of connection to quilting, certainly sailing, golf, stamp collecting, the ministry, running. Now, not all folks end up hooked for life. Some of us can't even keep the same wife for a lifetime, and my obsession is span two of those. It may not be a hobby per se. It may be a calling or a person, or a style, or a profession, or anything that redefined you from that moment on. But if you're still listening to this today, and you do recognize that there was a moment that somehow defined a lot about how the rest of your life was going to go, I'd love to read about it in a comment. Let me know. I know when mine was. I bet you know when yours was, too. It's Kim, and this is another moment of clarity.